Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss A and I just thought I'd read a story to you guys. Today's title is The Night Before Kindergarten. The author of the story is Natasha Weems and the illustrator is Julie Durrell. Okay, now let's begin our story. The Night Before Kindergarten. Twas the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. They tossed and they turned about in their beds while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. In the morning, it came school starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids pose for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, they're your big kids, wow! Let us hold your bears and blankets for now. parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be a-okay. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps. But where were the beds for mid-morning naps? They colored and painted and played, Simon says, then tumbled and skipped and stood on their heads. They sang silly songs from beginning to end. Within just a minute, each kid had a friend. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. When what to her wondering eyes should appear, but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears, their noses so sniffly, their eyes red and wet. This was just the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door to the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. The end.
Now in the story, the night before kindergarten, the children were excited about going to school and some were a little bit scared. They didn't know what to expect. But when they got to school, they met new friends and they were happy. They got to play with them. And what happened though at the end to the mom and dads? They were sad. They started crying. Did the children cry? No, they were excited. They, they thought kindergarten was so what? Was so cool. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you enjoyed kindergarten too. Bye bye. Fire!